After a visit by Father Victor to Morata One yesterday where the incident happened, the Catholic Church presented their demand today to the media. The church has demanded a ban on alcohol in settlements where most alcohol-related crimes are happening, for the law to take its course and punish the criminals, the government to have a real and working leadership structure in every community to take responsibility of such crimes, and for authorities to encourage people to go back to their provinces instead of struggling in the city. Port Mosby is already crowded and it's also birthplace of many crimes and petty crimes and big crimes. So it is good to encourage and the government should come up with some creative ideas so that they go back to their own respective places. Because now it, Port Mosby is colourful and it is so attractive and the places, the rural places are not attractive. The incident happened minutes after midnight on New Year. Two women and two teenage girls were pack raped by more than 40 men, identified by police to be from Anger province, who were under the influence of alcohol at that time. The cause of the incident is still unknown. Currently, five suspects are behind bars at the Boroko police station. To allow this and make it, make it a good, uh, habitable settlement, we need to have proper control of the settlements. Uh, it is a good way. It is a good way to have make people, you know, uh, provide options for their own daily lives. But if there is no control, we will, we will face this kind of problem. Sister Mary McCarthy from the National Catholic Education is calling on health practitioners and counselors to help the four female victims and their families who are traumatized by this incident through counseling. There are many people who were trained in trauma counseling because the effects of an incident like this, particularly on the young girls, is something that they will have to carry with them as a burden in their personal life and in their relationships. This Saturday, the Arave community in Port Mosby will present a petition to the government. One of the petitions will be on the use of alcohol, drug and homebrew in the settlement areas that are causing such problems, especially to women and girls. Another petition will be on ethnic groupings in settlements. Vasinata Yama, National MTV News.